My name is Warwick Falk. I'm the founder and owner of uh, Warwick Combat Athlete Academy. This is my assistant today, uh, Abdullah Ramatullah. And we're going to discuss and also introduce to you how to anticipate incoming attacks based on weight deliverance. When we, when we want to start anticipating any type of, uh, of attack, it's imperative to know exactly where the person's rhythm is. Uh, a fight is, it's all timing, it's all rhythm. And it's understanding where the weight is. Now, the best way I can introduce this today is that if I take my stance here, here I'm gonna start moving my weight back, center, forward, like so. So I'm going center, back, center, forward. Center, back, center, forward. You often see some fighters, especially the ties, are they going to be very, you know, playing playing with their weight distributions quite a bit, where they'll be going left and right, right? Not moving too, too much. Uh, you see a lot of boxers, they're constantly just moving the feet, moving the head, right? Wherever they're going. Um, but it's still uh, weight distributions. It's still a cadence, a pattern that they've created, right? With their weight. And it's always either in the front, it's in the center, or it's in the back. And it's gauging it like, almost like a percentage meter from here, right? So we're going like, this is zero. Oh, now I got about 60 on the back and I got 40 on the front for weight. Okay. Oh, now I got 60 on the front and I got 40 on the back. Okay. Now, if the majority of my weight or, or the opponent's weight is forward, okay, right now I'd say I got about 70% on my forward leg. Okay. I'm not going to throw anything off my lead kick okay, on my lead leg. It's not going to be a knee because if I do that, I have to come back onto my rear leg or to the center so I can even raise my leg, okay? Because if I'm here, I try to raise it, I'll actually fall and lose my balance, okay? uh, Therefore, in order for you to use, use anything on my front leg, I'm gonna have to distribute my weight to the center, bring the knee up, or I'm gonna have to switch my stance, but I'm still, when I switch, I need to distribute my weight back, get up and pull, okay? So there's still a distribution of weight. Now. If, however, my leg is here, it's a pretty sure thing that there's a right side attack that's coming, okay? It can be a right cross, okay? Or a straight right, pardon. It can be a right cross, okay? It can be a right uppercut, okay? It can be a right body punch, right shovel, right hook, okay? It can be a right corkscrew. It can be a right overhand, okay? It can be any, any types of these punches coming from the right side. It could be, even be a right elbow, right? Spiking horizontal, papillon, uh, all sorts. Um, also, it's pretty sure bet too, if my weight is this far off, that there's either a knee that's gonna come, okay, here, or maybe there's a leg kick, okay, or maybe there's a body kick coming in, or maybe there's a head kick coming in, here, all right? And it's, that's a sure bet, okay? Now, if my weight comes back, however, I know that this person may be attempting to throw a hook, all right? Maybe they're going to shield. Maybe that they're going to most likely use their teeth. How we can train this is to actually get into a rhythm. I'm gonna go my right foot to his left leg. Uh, and my left leg squared up with his, his left leg. And our hips are nice and square. Um, we're gonna find our rhythm here. We're gonna start distributing. Good. Now, he's gonna match me. He's gonna match his rear, his, his uh, lead leg to my rear leg. So when he comes forward, I go back. When he goes onto his right leg heavy, I go left leg heavy. And then we go center together, back, center, back, center, back, center, forward. Understand? Now, we now begin to use our brains. We'll keep our hands up and we'll see where the weight is. If his weight's on the front, I know it's most likely something coming on the left. But at the same time, prediction of future, his weight's gonna be on the back. So he could be throwing a left hook. 
So it's depending where he is in that moment of time. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Okay, now just for the sake of the drill today, we're gonna move, we're gonna utilize movement, okay, to nullify an attack. So from here, we're finding rhythm, he comes forward with his rhythm, then he goes back, okay, forward, okay, and we find a rhythm, good. Okay, now, once we're in a rhythm, when we get into the forward, okay, when his weight's on his forward leg, what I'm gonna do here is, he comes forward, I'm gonna side step to the outside, and I'm just gonna bring my arm forward here. The reason why I'm going to this side is because there's the most probable chance that the attacks are coming from the right side. Okay. By doing so, he's in a very uncomfortable position and he's probably gonna have to, 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 to square up to me. Now, if I go here though, okay, and he goes on his forward leg, and I move this way, now I'm in the danger zone, big time, because he's already set to easily throw that with power, okay, he's, he's got momentum forward, he's got balance, and he could even throw a body kick, okay, coming straight through, all right, okay, and from here, what I'm gonna do now is that if he weights on his back leg, okay, go ahead, get your rhythm, good, onto your back. I'm gonna move out to my right over here, okay, making sure that my entire center line is still pointed towards him and I can attack him with all of my weapons. Right. So, with your partner, the drill is gonna look like this, okay, we'll find our rhythm, boom, 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 forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. Okay, partner goes forward, <laughs> I go to the outside. Okay, fall back, into your rhythm. Yeah, into your rhythm, good, and boom. As soon as his, his weight's on his rear leg, I'm gonna go out to the outside and just throw a right hand for now to uh, train myself to one, throw something, but also just to uh, get on the outside. Okay. And that's it for today. So, thank you for watching. Um, this is a great way to anticipate what might happen through understanding the rhythm. Okay, this needs to be trained for quite a few years before you can really start to see the game develop for uh, further and further. But I suggest that this be a foundation to your training almost every day. You find someone and you just work your rhythm where you can read the person. Even when you're holding pads, if I'm holding pads like this, okay, the other person's gonna naturally be in a rhythm. Naturally, because at some point, his way's gonna come forward so you can step into the combination, right? Especially if you're starting with a jab, if he's going for the kick, he's gonna have to load and step. So you can match his rhythm in your head. If he throws the jab, you see yourself get to the outside, boom, and you throw it. Okay, he throws his cross, oh, you're just reading his rhythm. Okay, you're anticipating his body weight, you're reading his body language, okay? So, if, you, uh, if you want more content, uh, one, please feel free to email us uh, with something that you'd like to see We'll make a video for you or leave it in the comment section. Uh, we'll make a video for you. Or also click one of the thumbnails uh, to um, further your knowledge. Okay. All right, let me tell you how many